So dear students, let us learn about the experiment to determine angle of divergence of a laser beam. Now here I have a light source which is a laser source. This is a semiconductor laser and I also have a graph paper here. So I want to find what is the divergence of this light spot. If you see here the light spot is seen on the graph paper. Now if as the light travels longer distances you can identify that there is some divergence in the beam. You can see the spot width is much much larger compared to the, the scene on the graph paper. So now let us find out what is this amount of divergence. Now for this what do we do is we have to take a laser light source and then place a graph paper in front of the laser source and identify the width of the spot that is the diameter the diameter of this light spot. So just mark it with a pencil on the graph paper. Now this we do it for different distances. Okay. So what do we do is this is first we start with a smaller distance like 30 centimeters. So here I have a light source and this from here I would calculate the distance and here is my light spot. So let me start with the smaller distance like 30 centimeters. So this is exactly 30 centimeters I place the light source. Now let me identify what is the width of this light source with the help of a pencil I would mark it on the graph paper. So this is for 30 centimeters of distance I have taken. Now repeat the same experiment for different distances like let me go for 60 centimeters now. So here is my 60 centimeters. Again identify the width of the light spot and mark it on the graph paper. So this is for 30 centimeters what we have marked earlier and this is for 60 centimeters. So this way repeat the experiments for different lengths like for example the third distance I would take it as 90. This is 90 centimeters. So for 90 centimeters let me mark it here. So this is for 90 centimeters. So this way repeat the experiment for at least 5 to 6 readings. Now after you finish noting the values, take out the graph paper. Now these are the light spots what we have noted on the graph paper. Now this is for 30 centimeters, this is for 60 centimeters. This is for 90 centimeters and so on you can repeat up to any number of distances. Now let me understand, now this is for 30 centimeters, just see how many divisions it is occupying on the graph paper horizontally and also vertically. So note down this values as for example in this case vertical divisions are 2 and horizontal divisions are 3. So it is vertically and horizontally 2 comma 3. Right. Now to find the laser beam divergence we have a formula here that phi is equal to a2 minus a1 by d2 minus d1. Now what is this a2? a2 is the spot size of the laser beam on the screen at a distance d2 and a1 is the spot size of the laser beam on the screen at distance d1 that is for different distances say for example if this is a distance d1. For D1, what is the spot size that is the diameter of the light spot that is laser light spot on the screen. So this is A1 and this is D1. Similarly for the second distance D2, find out A2. So this way when you have A2 and A1, D2 and D2, uh, D1 distances, now substitute them in the formula. So this is how we calculate it. So we, this is a table column for finding out the values that is distance between the laser beam and the screen diameter of the spot horizontally and vertically we will find out that is the number of divisions that is occupying horizontally and the number of divisions that is occupying vertically. So once you have the values here then take the mean of these two for example in this case we have seen it is 2 and 3 so that is horizontally I have 2 and vertically I have 3 so 2 and 3 averages 2.5 0.25. So this is actually we have taken centimeters like the value is calculated in meters here so 0.25 is the diameter of the spot. 
so like this for different distances like we have taken 30 60 90 and so on so here you can see 30 60 90 120 150 and 180 so approximately six readings are taken here similarly find out what are what is the mean diameter of all the spots for different distances now take any two distances and take the values as a1 a2 d1 and d2 and find out the value of phi so here since we have six readings here so we have three values of phi that is the beam divergence so take the three values and take the average of all the three values that would give you the final value of the beam divergence that is how much is the deviation in the light spot after traveling certain distance so this is the experiment 